Welcome back to Magic Tarot Cards. This is Jasmine. I have predictions for the next six months for all zodiac signs. Um, we are here to do tarot. And um, yeah, I shoot the devil away. So back to my tarot. So we're going to start with water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio first. What's coming in for the uh, next six months for 2024? First, I'd like to say don't forget to like like and um give a thumbs up um i'm gonna make this very clear my channel is branded if you don't know what that means google it or look at youtube when a channel is branded you cannot use it for your revenue so putting that out there um also this content is not for kids if you're under the age of 18 please click off now um, if you have anything negative to say about me or anybody else, then you can step right on out because we don't accept that here. All races, genders, anybody is welcome to my channel. I'm not prejudiced and I don't um, discriminate. Anyone's welcome to my channel to ask questions. We're going to keep it positive here and that's that. So let's moving forward back to my tarot. Um, Never underestimate my power. Never underestimate my power. Okay? I'm a true tarot card reader. Been doing this for 30 plus years. I was brought here to bring truth. Okay? If you don't know what that means, watch my other videos. I was brought here to bring truth. Okay? Been here three times. So, so I work with spirit. I don't read scripts or cards or, or what I mean is books about tarot. Everything comes from within. It comes from what the messages Spirit gives to me. I talk directly to them. They talk to me. All right, so let's get started with this. Um, why do I tap the card? Because when you tap the card, you awaken the spirits, okay? Believe it, don't believe it, don't matter to me. I want to see what's coming in for water signs. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio for the next six months. There's one trying to pop out. Water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio for the next six months. What do you see? Water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, let me fix this camera, y'all. I don't know where y'all can see it better. I'm not sure. I think I'm just too close here. Let's see what fell out here. Okay, so here's one. Let's see. Okay, here we go. So what I'm seeing first is the two of wands. This represents when you're waiting for help. You're waiting for someone to come in and help you. Water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You've already put in the work. This is a wand of emotions, work, and stuff like that. And then you got one standing here that you're still working on. But you, if you notice, the man's holding the world in his hand. So he's got every opportunity to make everything that he needs happen to happen because the world, the universe is on his side. He just needs a little bit of help. So I do see help coming your way. Remember, y'all, this is general. If it doesn't resonate with you, ooh, so sorry. <laughs> Spirit is very strong. So if it doesn't resonate with you, then it's not for you. Take what resonates with you and then um, leave the rest for whoever else it resonates with. Don't get in here and say, well, you said that um, this, that, that, and then it didn't happen. Well, then it wasn't meant for you. Okay, this is general. It's not a personal reading. If you want a personal reading, then contact me. My number will be down below. You can um, text me, and then I will answer you back. And it's for serious people only um, that really want a reading. Those readings do cost. Now, I do run specials every month, which I'll be running one here pretty soon. So be looking out for that in my community post. Okay, so for the next one, you have another wands, which is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, coming in. This is fast love. Okay, this is someone that rushes in to you. I'm seeing someone rushing in that's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that wants love. It's like, see, because the wands are flying through the air, and they're in deep thought about you. So they're like, you meet them, and then they're like, the next day, hey, let's 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 uh, move in together and then the next day let's get married it's that kind that's just an example it doesn't mean that it's going to happen exactly that way but it's fast fast rush love so it might be something that turns out good but you got to be careful with that because if, when you move too fast you get burned okay you have to get to know people you really don't know anyone until you live with them you can date someone for six months 
But until you live with them, then you know their personal habits. And that's when you're in trouble if you don't know what's going on. All right. So I'm seeing some of you that made the decision to walk away. This is the... Sorry, there's a fly in here. This is the eight, five, six, seven, eight. This is the eight of cups. So sometimes <laughs> I have to count the little bars. This is the eight of cups. You see how he stacked up his uh, cups and he's moving away from them. These cups represent everything in your life. Family, fun, work, job, school, whatever, whatever. So he stacked them up neatly and said, look, I'm putting you away for a while. I'm going up the hill and I'm walking away. He's wearing red because he's very passionate about his decision and uh, or to find a new life, find something new and um, deep thought, very deep thought. And if you notice, the sun and the moon here are together. So this is more nocturnal. This is something that happens at night. So this person has packed their bags. They left. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So this is you. And you want something new, only you just don't know what it is. All right? What do I want? You, know, you say to yourself, I just got to find something different. I need something to change. I hear some of you saying, I need my life to change, but I just don't know how to change it. I just don't know what to do. I just don't know how to change it. So you're seeking that. I do see you will get there because this fell for you in the reverse. And when it's in the reverse, that means you've arrived that you've gotten there. So um, in the next six months, whatever it is you're searching for, or maybe you're waiting on an answer for a change of your life or something like that, that's going to come. So that you'll be feeling a lot better by then. I am seeing the um, Six of Cups here. This is the card of the past, nostalgia. Um, we are going to get a Mercury retrograde here pretty soon, and that always brings in nostalgic feelings for a lot of us. All right. Not not only am I a tarot card reader, psychic, but I'm also an astrologist. I study the planets. I've been studying the planets for a very long time. So I get, that's why I always mention Mercury, Venus, Pluto, all that, because I study astrology as well. I don't have a page about astrology because I don't have time, but hey, maybe I need to. So, but I always bring in the planets here because I know what each and every planet does, what phase they're in. Um, we know what energies they produce on this earth and we are ruled, believe it or not, by planets and that's how our emotions are affected. That's how, um, world events happen due to planets. Just like the big C when it came in, it's because Pluto and Venus traveled together. Pluto brings in viruses every 200 years. The last virus we had was the Spanish flu, which was over 200 years ago. And then it traveled with Venus, which intensifies things. Okay, Pluto, Pluto also rules the lungs. Every planet rules a body part. And Pluto rules the lungs, so um, your lungs were affected by the big C. And with Venus intensifying it, it became worldwide. Okay, so maybe that will help you understand a little bit what the planets do. But I'm seeing you being nostalgic. I'm seeing you someone traveling to the past um, on a trip, going to a reunion, or visiting just visiting the past. Um, in the next six months, I'm seeing you thinking about the past. It's okay to revisit the past, but I'm seeing, also seeing some of you, not all, that are, might be stuck mentally in the past, and that's not good, okay? It's okay to think about the past, but don't get stuck there, because then you're not living your life. You're not living, you know, in the future. So try to move on from that and, you know, live in the present, okay? But as far as visiting, someone might come and visit you from the past, um, an old friend, relatives, or a family reunion, or something like that. But you will be, I see travel here. You will be traveling to visit old friends, the past, maybe your parents, relatives, something like that that has to do with the past. All right, that was for Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Next, we have uh, Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. The cards are acting up. Look at that, the exact same card has jumped out, but we're going to put them back and reshuffle. I don't know what's up with this camera. It's like, maybe I need to, there we go. That's better. All right. So show me, um, earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What do you see for earth signs for the next six months from now to the end of June, 2024? Here we have the magician. Yay, magician. All right. So that's good to always get the magician. Show me earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn from now to the end of the year for 2024. What do you see for Earth signs? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. From now to the end of 2024. 
the bottom of the deck has that and I'm going to use that because um, that's very important all right show me I need one more for earth signs spirit okay there we go you saw that flip all on its own all right so we have the um, one of my friends is texting me right now her mother passed away yesterday and it just breaks my heart but I see her text message coming through Sorry, y'all. I'm looking at it real quick, and I'll be right back with you. I don't want to ignore it because her mother did die yesterday. All right, so Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, from now to the end of the month, of the year, 2024, we have the Magician. So that means for the next six months, you're going to be able to manifest anything you want to. We have all signs here. If you notice the Pentacles, the Cups, the Swords, and the Wands, the Magician is holding his hand up. What does that mean? That means he's got a lot of power. And he's passionate about his power. And then if you notice there's yellow in the background represents a brand new day. So whatever you do, whatever decisions you make is going to come in and it's going to be really, really good. All right. A lot of flowers here, meaning a fruitful life. The infinity sign is above his head, representing it will last for a long time. So make wise decisions. Seek counsel if you have to. I am seeing the Empress. If you notice, this woman is pregnant. She's sitting quite comfortable here because there's cushions behind her. This is the card of uh, fertility, pregnancy, abundance. Okay, could mean a lot of things for a lot of people. Again, this is general. You know, just take what resonates with you. The rest leave behind. So um, if you notice, the water is flowing towards her. So there's an abundance coming towards her. The wheat is growing. So if you're a farmer, you're going to have a good crop. All right. And uh, or if you're planting anything, you're going to have a good crop. But uh, this woman is pregnancy and she also holds a lot of power because she's holding her power stick up. Um, I call it a power stick. Um, if you, I wish I could do this with a card. <laughs> if you notice, there's writing back here in the uh, back of the pillow. OK, and then all this represents is all good things coming towards you. Here's the uh, sign. Um, of um i call it the fertility sign could be ma male or female all right it's both so someone is going to be pregnant maybe by you or be announcing that they're pregnant someone near or around you or you or someone uh, in your sphere is going to be pregnant and be announcing it all right so here we have the uh, ace of pentacles this represents um money coming your way the universe wants to hand you this giant coin and if you notice it's inside the garden of eden all right so that means it's all good things so you're about to have a new beginning with financial stability so the universe is about to give you uh, new opportunities and financial stability meaning jobs bonuses money coming your way so grab that and run with it make it happen if you have to call people uh, to make it happen do that a lot of people, when they apply, they just sit back and wait for to be called. Never do that. Always call HR. When you apply for a job, good, apply for a job. But don't sit there and wait for them to call you. You call them. Call HR and say, hey, I've applied. This is my name. Have you even looked at my application? There's nothing wrong with that. I have gotten every job that way. I apply, and then the next day I call to HR, and I'm like, hey, my name is Jasmine. Have you looked at my application? I um." I applied yesterday and most of the time they'll tell you no we haven't seen it but we'll look at it and they do and then you get hired all right it's easier to get hired that way so um yeah I would advise you always to call HR there's nothing wrong with HR all they can do is tell you no <laughs> you know so sorry all my cards are getting dirty I'm gonna have to really clean them all right so this is the four of cups this is a Pisces Cancer Scorpio that most likely offered you a cup of love and you refused it or vice versa maybe uh, you offered a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, a cup of love, or anyone for that matter, and you refuse that. I'm seeing this person mad. They got their arms crossed. They're in their thoughts. Look at all that blue behind them. Very deep thought. Um, just mad. The face looking down. Not happy uh, in his thoughts. So this person is refusing. Doesn't want anything to do with you. The best thing to do is to leave this person alone. Don't talk to them. Let them stay in their thoughts. And eventually they'll come around. And if they don't, then they weren't meant for you. They weren't meant for you. Anything that's meant for you will come. There won't be no obstacles 
Okay, a lot of people struggle because they have this obstacle and that obstacle. If you're having that many obstacles, then it wasn't meant for you. You need to let it go and move on, all right? Sometimes those obstacles are put there so you won't move forward with it. And people still try to move forward with things that have a tremendous amount of obstacles. And you need to not do that, all right? So next we have um, fire signs, which is Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius from now to the end of 2024. What do you see for um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius from now to the... I'm seeing... Uh, yeah, let's get that one and let's get that one. Again, let's get that one. All right. Then give me one more for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Give me one more for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. All right. Always take the first card you see. Just because a whole bunch uh, fell out don't mean you use all those. Spirit pretty much pulls the cards and then um, you go from there. All right. So I did see this one next. This one and then this one. Y'all don't forget about my cup. I have put an influence on this cup to help you manifest good luck and health and money and love. The link in the description box is there you can purchase it there um what you do is write down on a piece of paper what you might want to manifest always speak good positive manifest positive things always pray in jesus name because he's the one that gives you things put a little glass of water next to it and then pray don't drink out of that glass of water just drink out of this cup manifest and pray and then you'll see your manifestations come to pass if you need help with that just text me and i will be more than happy to help you with that also here we have the uh, Five of Cups. Um, this is someone... Um, now, this could mean many things for many people. This could mean someone passed away or you lost someone because this is a card of loss. Okay, and that's Five of Cups. It's very broad. Okay, so... For some of you, it might mean you lost someone. For some of you, it might mean someone broke up with you or you lost your children or you lost a job or you lost a friendship or relationship. It could mean many things. But I see you standing here sad, crying over this loss. The cups have spilt. And um, the black represents depression. You're in your thoughts. But the universe is saying... Why are you doing all this when you still got two cups standing here? You still got a life to live. It's okay to be sad, but don't want when you grief and stay there. Cross over that bridge and get to the other side, the land of happiness and opportunity. So the message here is stop wallowing in your grief, get over your grief, and move forward. I, I could have been because this Pisces Cancer, I mean, this um, sword, the sword, um, which is a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, uh, cheated on you by a third party. You see, in the upright, the heart is pierced by three swords. You, them, and the third party cause much depression and crying. But now it's in the reverse. So what does it mean in the reverse? It means he's coming back. He or she are coming back due to Mercury retrograde. Okay? They're coming back. They're going to have an apology for you. Okay? It's up to you if you want to take the apology. But usually when it's a sword apology, it's not a good one. Because this person's going to try to justify what he did wrong or what he or she did wrong with their words. And the words will be something like, I did not mean for this to happen. Oops, it was an accident. Um, um, that's not what I really wanted to do. No, don't believe that because you either do or you don't. There's no in between in this lifetime. If you have the intent to do something and you do it, then you intend to do it. If you have the intent to not do something, then you don't do it. There's no, oh, well, I didn't mean to do that, but it happened. No, you had every intent to do it. So I would not accept that apology. I would not accept that X back. They will be returning during Mercury Retrograde. All right, now here we have the Knight of Swords again. This is the horse rushing in. Horses always mean movement in your life, mean movement. And this one is rushing in. Look at his face. He's very, very anxious, and so is the rider. He's holding his sword up. Remember, swords always cut. Swords aren't good. There's a bird flying in the background, meaning a message coming through. Um, blue, very deep thought. So what is the message? The message is pay attention to your surrounding events. Okay, some of you might be traveling, especially during Mercury Retrograde, and you might crash. Or don't get on planes during Mercury Retrograde because they, they crash. 
I do have a video about Mercury Retrograde at the top of my page. You can watch that and it pretty much explains what Mercury Retrograde is. But this is a strong message saying be careful. Be careful around your surrounding events because something could happen that's tragic. Swords are always tragic. So just be careful. It doesn't mean it's going to. Protect yourself. Remember God's with you. And it doesn't mean that anything bad has happened. It's just a warning. So you will protect yourself. All right. Again, we have the eight of cups here in the reverse so some of you made a decision to walk away i've explained this in the first one and then you have arrived you have arrived there you have made it so by the end of the month you should be out of all this energy here and you'll be in a better phase where um you'll kind of know more of what you want out of your life and what to do all right that was for um what did i say aries leon sagittarius <laughs> sorry y'all Okay, sorry, y'all. Oh, my can my um camera went down. So the last one is air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. If you are an air sign, you are a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. My camera sure is acting today. Let me, jeez. All right. If you're an air sign, you are a um Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And I'm shuffling in front of the camera because sometimes I don't, and I have them laid out, and then people start tripping like, oh, you didn't shuffle, blah 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 blah. All right, so I uh, do a lot of shuffling. I'm trying to do a lot of shuffling in front of the camera so people can see the real deal here because I am the real deal. All right, show me uh, air signs, Gemini, and Aquarius for now, from the out to the end of the month. We are going to use that one. And um, for 2024, what do you see for these three signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? See that justice. A lot of times if you get a whole bunch of, of um, cards up all, you only use the top one, all right? For those of you that want to know that, um, yeah. And then Spirit usually pulls the rest. If you see them flying out of your hand, it's because Spirit, that's if you work with Spirit. A lot of people don't. Um, or you get the one that flips, which is Spirit again doing that, or you're, you're pulling the energy, all right? Show me a Gemini Living Occurs from now to the end of 2024. All right, let's see what fell out. We're going to read all of these because I feel like it's important. All right, so you got a lot going, air signs. First of all, we have the chariot. This is the card of travel. This is the card of successful travel. You see the chariot. He's in his chariot uh, moving forward. But if you notice, there's no reins. The lion are pulling the chariot, but there's no reins. That means he's controlling it himself, which really means that Whatever trip that you're doing, you're in control of it. Wherever you're going, I'm seeing how you're going for trips for uh, business, and you're going to be successful at that. The only thing I tell you is do not travel during Mercury Retrograde. I will post when the, the next Mercury Retrograde is coming, because usually people crash during that time, or you have mechanical breakdowns, which means uh, cars, um, they're... they're uh, Things inside the engine will break down because of mechanical breakdowns, so be careful with that. All right, but I do su successful travel. I'm seeing some of you, not all of you, some of you that are waiting on an answer from a judge, a higher up, a boss, or um, someone you work for. It could be someone you're just anyone that you're waiting for an answer for some kind of justice. It's in stagnation or it's in the reverse meaning it's not coming or it's just stagnant it hasn't happened yet it's it's just stagnant just standing still it's not moving if you want to or maybe it just wasn't meant to move forward so it depends according to your deed what you did what what someone did to you or something like that but it's stagnant all right now here we have the um eight of swords in the reverse so i am seeing um, okay, let's explain in the upright. In the upright, this means imprisonment. It could mean anyone in jail or feels like they're in jail, they're imprisoned. You see how the maiden is uh, wrapped around, her eyes are blindfolded, meaning she cannot see. So when you get this in the upright, meaning you cannot see where you're going, you cannot see your future, you're barefooted, standing in the water. All right, what does that mean? That always means poverty when you're standing in water. It could also mean death, depending on... Um, your situation all right and then the home is far far away she can't get to it or it could mean a uh um 
mental imprisonment that you've created this mental imprisonment in your mind by your thoughts and you can't get out of it or it can mean house imprisonment that you're in a situation you can't get out of as well which a lot of women are in those type of situations but now it's in the reverse so what does that mean for you okay so um god this camera is really acting up today so when it's in the reverse because this is the card of fear all right you might have a lot of fear of something but um when it's in reverse, it means you're going to be able to let go of that fear that something is uh, moving away from you, something that's bad, something that's happened that kept you in this imprisonment and this fear. You could be getting out of jail. You could be, or someone you know could be getting out of jail, or you could be getting out of a bad situation that made you feel like you were in prison, or you're coming out of your mind that was imprisoned as well. See, so I'm seeing up and moving out, the hangman. Now, I get this card a lot when people pass away, meaning they have have crossed over but um don't feel that that's i mean you couldn't know someone that's that might be happening too but i'm also seeing that uh for you since it fell next to this card here that it means that you're you're moving up and out to a better phase from this situation here so you're coming out of this and you're moving here up and out to a better phase a better stage of life and you will have victory with it this is the card of victory again it's a sword so it could flip at any time because it's a double-edged sword double-edged swords flip but for you it's still steady in the upright meaning you will be victorious over this move, over this um, situation that you're trying to come out of, you're coming out of it, you're moving up and out, and you will have victory over it, and you have found your peace. Okay, here's the star. What is the woman doing? She's pouring water, one vial in the earth, and, and the water, and one on the earth, meaning balance, okay? The bird is here representing a message. What is that message? You're finding balance. You're finally going to find that balance that you need. Getting out of the situation here means that you have found um, the balance in your life. You're out in a better place. You're out of jail or you're out of um, a bad relationship or friendship or work or whatever it is that was keeping you imprisoned. Maybe it was the thoughts that were keeping you imprisoned, but you've come out of that. You've been victorious out of it and you found your balance. Kudos for you. Kudos for you, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. All right, so that is it for your predictions, y'all. Um, don't forget to uh, like this video. Comment if you want to. Remember, all negative comments will be pushed out, and you will be blocked and deleted and even reported, for that matter. Get your channel deleted or whatever, because we don't play that here. I'm a serious tarot card reader. I've come to spill the truth, and that's it. All right? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.